Skateboarding is like a bunch of sports combined. It's, it's, it's really uh, skating and surfing and sailing. Hey everybody, this is Buddy. Well, I'm standing inside this um, brick enclosement because if I was to step outside there, you can't hear me because it's 20, 22 mile an hour winds. Let me see if I can go this way and show you where we are. We're at Barrack School. Look at the waves. Wow. Well, that's the little peninsula of sand right out there. So we're gonna get on it. Kite on it. We're rigging up. Brian's gonna either be on an eight. I'm gonna be back on a seven, the best. He's going to be on an 8 Cabrina, and um, <laughs> we'll see what we can do in this. It looks like, from what I understand, 22 mile an hour. That's where the dock the ship, if you can hear me. The wind is blowing. Gonna try to do this thing. I still don't have Brian where he can videotape me when I go out. So I'm gonna probably take out the GoPro in some configuration. Yesterday I had it on my chest. Um, I, it's so windy I don't even know. I may not even videotape this. But, and we do what we gotta do. I need somebody to videotape me, damn it. I'm going to have, I'm gonna have to tra just stop everything in training, but not on this windy day. Hey, everybody. Well, I hurt my leg. Got me a little cut in it. Yeah, well, it ain't the end of it, but it's, I just wanted to um, videotape it. Um, I'm... I'm gonna heal it up really quick, but um, yeah, when I started off this morning, I was talking about the wind, and man, it was rough. I crashed a couple of times, but um, the the one that got me was landing the kite, and for the you know we were through. Brian Shorten was on the beach, and he he already self land, and um, so he had already secured his kite off. And I was supposed to come in and, and just casually be on the right side of the little beach at Barrack School and was going to just, you know, practice a self-landing type technique with, with me. But, um, man, a gust of wind drug me off my foot. And I was standing in sand, but the bottom right there is really rocky. You never know where the rocks are going to be. So I got cut a little bit but um i didn't get no video while we were doing this to show you how really windy condition it is and when i had my watch set i had it set for um run instead of bike so i don't know what the actual um, information is going to look like when i process it and yeah, surely it'll be all right but it show where i was how fast i was going and how many times i went in and out in and out okay i just thought i would do an end of the day video and tie it to this morning's video i might sandwich something in there by the time i make this i'll decide what i'm going to do to show some footage of uh you know once you don't once you had a session and you don't videotape it or you ain't got somebody to videotape it you really can't redo that session. Even the the wind that we had yesterday and the, the way the clouds were and everything, it's still not the same. But we do the best we can do. All right. Hey, I appreciate everybody uh, watching my videos. I know sometimes I post some stuff that, you know, makes people think. And then sometimes I post some stuff that uh, I just like. I just want to see and I... I some of the people that I'm collaborating with, um, I 
love watching their channels grow. When, when they understand collaborating, and then you understand creative, you know, the creative aspect of joining with someone to share their audience, and then it just multiplies, um, especially when they're really good at making cool videos. Uh, Bill Donahue is an example. That's a video I posted uh, yesterday about the Buddha. Um, man, I really like Bill. <laughs> Bill Donahue is, he, he, back before there was YouTube, he was using VHS, and he was sending them videos from all over the country, from one little group to another little group to another little group that passed the videos around. So, if, if you didn't see that video, just go back to videos and look and you'll see the one about the Buddha. And you'll see the man named Bill Donahue. He's from New Jersey, so he's got a little bit of an accent. <laughs> People say, I have an accent. Uh, Bill's got a New Jersey accent. I think it's cool. Even the people that in this video, he, he takes questions, you know, from his little audience, his little group, and uh, you can hear their accents. But um, hey, appreciate you. Like I was saying, thank you for sharing my videos and for uh, liking and leave a comment. You know, it, it it really is interesting to see some of the comments that I get on. Uh, some of my deeper videos and I can't answer back all of them but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like you know just checking all of them or scan them a little bit but no I just some sometimes <laughs> I don't know what to say back to people when they you know some of them's ugly some of them say ugly things and people wonder well what buddy why don't you just delete that comment no, that comment is, is their emotions, their feelings. And it's actually adding to the experience of the video because some people like it, some people don't. So why would I take all the negative comments down and leave all the good ones? I'm going to leave them all. Now, unless they're vulgar. If they're vulgar and I don't have that happen every so often, well, that sucker's coming down. I gotta go. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.